All right, welcome to my tutorial on percent change. Um, let's go ahead and get started. So on percent change, we're gonna use the previous formula that we used. We're gonna set a proportion using the part divided by the whole to give us our percent, so X percent. Now, in this case though, it's gonna be a little bit different because we're gonna use the whole value as the original amount. So our original amount is gonna be our whole. That's the value we started with while our part is gonna be the amount that the value changes, okay? And there's gonna be two types of changes. There's gonna be a percent increase, which the new amount is greater than the original amount, and we're also gonna have percent decreases, where the new amount is gonna be less than the original amount. And once I get started and go into these, you'll be able to see it. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. Here we got a number changed from 54 to 20 and 52 hundredths, what is the percent change? Again, we're gonna use the part divided by the whole equals um, X percent, which is X hundredths. And again, we're gonna use the amount of change divided by the original amount, which represents the part divided by the whole. So let's go ahead and set up our proportions. For us, we know the percent, or sorry, we're asking for the percent. We wanna know the percent change, so it's gonna be X percent which is X per hundreds. And then we need to figure out the original amount. And the original amount, the number is changing from 54 to 20 and 52 hundreds. So the original amount is what you start with, it's 54. And so the amount of change, well, we had to figure out 54 to 20 and 52 hundreds, how much is it changing? So we're gonna subtract. And when we subtract 54 minus 20 and 52 hundreds, we end up with an amount of change of $33, I'm sorry, 33 and 48 hundredths. And so that gave us our amount of change. Now we got our proportion, we got our two ratios. We go ahead and cross multiply. And to solve for X, we're gonna divide both sides by 54. And we end up with X equals 62. And so our final answer is gonna be 62% because that is the percent that it changed going from 54 to 20 and 52 hundredths. But you gotta remember, was that an increase or decrease? It decreased. So it's very important that you include increase or decrease. In this case, it's a 62% decrease. Let's go ahead and do another problem. We're going from 223 to 243, and we're gonna use our part divided by whole equals our percent, which is the amount of change divided by the original amount. And so let's go ahead and set up our proportions. We don't know our percent, so that's gonna be X hundredths. Our original amount, we start from 223, we're going to 243, and so our amount of change is gonna be 20, which is gonna be the part, and then our whole is our original number. What do we start with? 223. We set up our ratios, we got a proportion, now we can cross multiply, we end up at 223X is equal to 20 times 100, which is 2,000, divide both sides by 223, it went up with a, a decimal which is eight and 96 hundredths, and it actually goes on for a while. But I ask you guys to round your answers to the nearest tenth, and in this case, uh, we look at the hundredths. And so we're gonna give it a shove or keep it that low, we're gonna give it a shove, and so our final answer ends up being a 9% increase. Now let's take, another, uh, take a look at another problem that we're gonna be working on. In this case, you gotta figure out the new amount when you're given the original and the percent of the change. So here's an example. The, um, the original amount is 45 and the increase is 120%. Now we're gonna use the same formulas, the same proportions, part divided by whole equals the percent, which is the amount of change divided by the original amount is gonna give us our percent. Now we're gonna go ahead and set up our proportion. We know that it changed 120% and so our, our ratio is going to be x per hundred which is 120 per hundred the original amount is 45 and we don't know what the amount of change is so we need to figure out the amount of change we set up our ratios we cross multiply we end up with 100 x equals 54 hundred divide both sides by 100 and we end up with x equals 54 but that is not our final answer that is the amount of the change and in the original problem, they're asking for the new amount. And how do we figure out the new amount? Well, we need to take our original amount 
And because it is an increase, we need to add the original amount to the amount of the change. And in this case, we're gonna be adding 45, which was our original amount, and we're gonna be adding 54, which was the amount of change. And so it's increasing, but what is the new amount? It's gonna be 99. So our final answer is 99 for the new amount. All right, let's do another example. The, the original amount is 475. The percent decrease is 44%. We're gonna use the same formulas, amount of change divided by the original amount equals the percent. Set up our proportions. We know it's 44%, so it's 44 hundredths. Our original amount is 475, and we need to figure out the amount of change. So let's go ahead and cross multiply. We end up with 100X equals 20,900. Divide both sides by 100, and so we end up with an X value of 209. But again, that is the amount of the change. That is not the new amount. And I'm asking you for the new amount. So what we're gonna do is, we're gonna take the original amount, but because it is a decrease, we are not gonna be adding, but it's a decrease, so we need to subtract the amount of the change from the original amount. So our original amount was 475, our amount of change was 209, we go ahead and subtract, and we end up with a new amount of 266. Now, this is gonna be helpful later when we start doing percent problems, discount problems, and um, some commission problems as well. If you guys have any questions, go ahead and let me know um, tomorrow in class. Thank you very much.